Looks like we've hit a fork in the road. One moment, please. Huh? Oh, it's you. Salutations. It would please me if I could join you. Ah! If you're asking, you must know where we're going. And I thought you were a stick in the mud. What's with the change? You could say I have a bit of a history with the antique shop that was robbed, nonetheless. There is another reason why I wish to join you. The antique shop? Could you? Where'd she go? Cradle, look down! You're kidding me. She's the doll that was on display at the Rheindahl's shop. Anamona. That is the name I was given. Upsy-daisy. <laughs> Pardon me, miss. You're an actual doll. I guess that weird feeling I had at the shop was because of you. So, Prillis's magic bullets work on dolls too, huh? Perhaps. I would not know. I do not have any memories from before I awoke in the Rheindahl's shop. You don't remember being cursed? That is correct. I will tell you my earliest memory. When I first awoke in the shop, I was unable to move at all, though I suppose that was to be expected. I was nearly a doll, but I asked myself, why did I awake at all? Day after day I pondered this, but I could not comprehend the reason. Then, one day, I had a thought. I wished to see the world outside. It was at that moment that I found I could move my arms and legs. With my newfound freedom, I was now able to leave the shop in secret. I realized I was searching for something, as if a string was pulling me somewhere. But I did not know what I was looking for. When I thought to myself that I wished to find out, I discovered my gift as a monstrum. In this sense, my becoming a monstrum differs quite a bit from yours. Man, you sure you didn't pull that straight out of a fairy tale? Dolls are not meant to have wills of their own, as humans do. But whenever I act upon my own will, I can feel something within me change. If I am with you, Crimson King, I believe I will find what I am looking for. This is what my intuition tells me. That was a lovely story, Anamona. Yeah. I had a feeling you'd agree. You have my gratitude. Um... What's wrong, Pussycat? Well, it's just... I thought maybe you wanted to return the stolen statue to the shop. I have no such sentiment. I am merely a doll. Hm? Oh, I see. Be that as it may, the only ones who can fix me are Mr. and Mrs. Rindall. Their distress from the recent robbery has caused me some manner of inconvenience. Ah! <laughs> So long as you don't get in my way, I couldn't care less what you do. Thank you. Pardon me. I'm glad we had this discussion. I will do my utmost to be of service. Alright. The north road from this fork leads to the abandoned village, but it's been blocked by a recent landslide. We'll need to find a detour. You seem to be familiar with this region. I used to come here all the time as a kid. Hey, Adol. Let's get a move on. Our group's getting bigger, don't you think? 
I do not entirely comprehend that sentiment. I'd rather work alone. Oh, I guess I'm the only one then. I have detected something. I have detected something. Something's there.
treasure chest located. <laughs> Treasure chest! Yeah. A treasure chest! What a dump. Doesn't it strike you as a bit odd? The door looks new. I have detected something. that door down hold on just a moment let's listen before we go in hell yeah we scored big time 
A splendid day indeed. Oh, you really outdid yourself this time, you old sly dog Gordo, you. <laughs> yeah, wasn't expecting it to go half as well as it did. Ha, Toto! Drinks are on me today. Then eat till those dresses don't fit no more. Whoa, you mean it, boss? Your purse strings must be loose today. Can you believe I got this 20 gold cheese for only 15 at the night market? That's not all. I got this 30 gold smoked salmon for a whopping half off. Don't even get me started on the coupons you can find in the main square. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But nobody cares about the coupons, boss. Everybody in town's got to be blaming the monsters by now. Dressing up as those freaks before stealing from the shops was a great idea. <laughs> the garrison at night must be searching high and low for him right now. And then, once we get dirty rich, we'll knock those stupid monstrums down a few pegs. If I'm not careful, I just might wake up one day as King of Balduk. You sure are an evil genius, boss. We don't even mind that you're a huge genius. By the way, when are we going to sell that swanky saint statue we stole? <laughs> oh, patience, Toto. If we stroll on into Pendleton with a thing like that, we may as well turn ourselves in. We need a black market dealer who'd be interested, but not enough to ask questions. Judging by their attire, it seems they were attempting to impersonate us. I smell blood in the water. And I'm starving. Or we could calm down and think about this. I wonder if the people in town really thought it was us just from those outfits. That would be quite a pity if they did. So you can feel things like pity. They seem to still have the statue they stole from the Rheindals in their possession. What should we do, Edda? I was hoping they'd be strong. All I want now is to burn the image of those outfits out of my head. I have to agree with Hawk. And because they might try to commit more crimes, of course. I have no objections. Sorry, boys. Party's over. What? What? Who's there? It's, it's, it's you people! You're the Crimson King! And you three, you, you're us! King of dreams. dreams! What? You mean to tell me that you're the real Monstrums? B -b -b boss We've been made again! No, no, no! I thought the real ones couldn't leave the city! Unfortunately for you, we're allowed to go on business trips now. You stole from the Rheindal shop. And then you painted us as criminals! For the crime of disrupting the order in my residence, I will see to it that you are punished. <laughs> the hell's the matter with you? Your brain cells abandoned ship after getting caught red-handed? You stupid monstrums! Keep talking big while you still can! Huh? What are you on about? I expected this to happen, so I set traps in this very room! Whoa! Good going, boss! You're even cooler than I thought! Is it some kind of secret weapon? Be, be careful, everyone! Take this! Your... Pretended to fall into this trap so we could escape from them. Genius, boss! It doesn't matter why we're in here, let's just scram! Damn, those morons got away. It appears we have been outwitted by their ingenious tactical maneuver. You don't really think they did that on purpose, do you? 
Not a chance in hell. I know a look of despair when I see one. <sighs> yes. Let us follow them down. to shine. Did something.
there. I have detected something. Maker. Ah! We're dead! I want you guys to know that I love you! We haven't given up yet! Throw in the towel, and you may as well give up on all your dreams! Wait, I'm confused. Who are the bad guys here again? <laughs> What's the matter? Be silent. Something is coming. Monsters? Uh, look, guys! The heavens have answered our prayers! Let's get the hell out of here! For being such a bad guy, boss, you've got pretty good luck! gave us the slip. Perhaps if we resume our pursuit, there may be time yet to capture them. <laughs> 